반갑습니다. 오늘은 칼리지 최근에 다니고 있는 우리 유학생들 인터뷰, 졸업자들 인터뷰 그런 비디오가 돼서 오랜만인데 요거를 하다 한 1년 동안, 1년 반 동안 우리가 운영을 하다가 아이디어를 얻어서 이거를 우리 지금 어, 9학년, 10학년, 12학년 멘토십 컨설팅 프로그램에 한 4분의 1 프로그램으로 이제는 완전히 포함을 시켜버린 시스템화 되어 있는 그런 비디오가 돼서 뭔 말이냐면 좀 이따가 계속 설명을 해줄게요. 근데 이 인터뷰들만 계속 하다 보니까 우리가 또 그런 또 네트워크가 조금 되잖아. 그래가지고 하다 보니까 이걸로만 끝날 게 아니다. 우리 학생들과 이 사람들을 좀 연결을 시켜줘서 자료 공유를 하고 경험을 좀 후배들에게 물려주고 하는 그 중간 역할을 앤디 후레비 해버려야 돼. 그래가지고 이 컨설팅 프로그램 포함을 시켰는데 반응이 따끈따끈해. 나는 요거 우리 학생들한테 어, 정보도 많이 주고 또 어떤 노하우도 전달을 하지만 어떤 동기부여가 되는데 상당히 큰 역할을 할것 같은데 이 유튜브에 올리는 비디오는 재미로 엔터테인먼트한 요소로 기본만 할 거니까 는 예정 방식을 그대로 따라갈 거야 예를 들어서 또좀 어떤 자세하게 깊게 들어가는 부분은 좀 빼고 비디오가 10분 이상 넘어가면 안 되니까 아주 액기스만 딱 해가지고 올라가는 정도니까 여러분들 어, 참고만 하시고 우리 컨설팅하는 학생들은 다른 버전의 비디오가 올라갈 거야 그거 봐야 된다 이거 보면 안 돼. 요거는 그냥 우리가 아주 기본만 어, 정보만 알고 가자 하는 비디오가 되겠어 자 시작해보자 So it sounds like you're you're going back in August to September to start this new job. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! Finally, college is over. Yeah, finally, yeah. Yes. All right. If you're ready, we could just jump right into it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, first, let's talk about you know high school related stuff. Let's do this. First question: uh, What college do you or did you attend? Uh, I attended Princeton University. Princeton University. Okay. What was your major in college? What, what did you study? Uh, so I majored in uh, computer science and uh, I got certificates in finance and SML, which is statistics and machine learning. Complicated. Um, okay. Basically like the uh, equivalent of like a minor at like a normal college. What were the colleges you were accepted to? Did you, uh, did you apply as early action? And then, you know, there are probably other schools you applied to. What are the schools you got accepted to? Right. Um, so I applied early uh, action to Stanford. And I didn't get in. Um, and then the ones I was accepted to were Princeton, uh, UC Berkeley, UCLA, University of Michigan, and University of Washington. Okay, cool. Uh, tell us a little bit um, about your high school. What kind of student were you in high school? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so I went to Newport High School, which is in Bellevue, Washington. It's a pretty large public school and it's pretty academically strong. It's ranked like number four in Washington State um, out of all the high schools. So uh, it was pretty academically rigorous. So I basically was a wrestler in high school. So in order to, you know, uh, have time to work out or like go to practice and stuff like that, I had to be very time efficient and, uh, you know, like, do all my homework whenever I had like a little bit of time. So yeah, I'd say like, I was pretty uh, balanced in terms of like academics and like sports or activities, I'd say. I wasn't really always studying or always playing sports. Like I, I kind of balanced my time out. Now let's go back and talk a little more about sports. You, you said you're playing wrestling. Right. When, does, when did that happen? During fall semester or it's not all throughout the year, right? Yeah, so, um, Basically, wrestling is like a winter sport, um, but there is like there are like workouts in the fall that you can go to and like you can go to a club wrestling uh, in the spring. So you can make it a year round sport if you want to uh, actually be good at it or excel at it. So. Oh, OK. Is that how you did it? Did you? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, like freshman year, I tried out like multiple different sports like football and soccer as well as wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I thought that I wanted to just focus on wrestling. Um, so starting like sophomore year, I pretty much quit all the other sports and only did wrestling. Okay, got it. That makes sense. So like year round. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What's my next question here? Um, okay. Um, did your high school rank students? What were your ranking? No, they, our high school got rid of rankings. Then for, can you give us a rough idea? Like, were you a top 1% student? Uh, you think you were top 5%? Like, were you valedictorian? Or, or where were you like? Um, so I, I wasn't valedictorian or solitarian or anything like that. Uh, I'd say uh, I would probably be top, at least top 10%, um, just because I had A's in all my classes. Mm -hmm. But 
like since my school is quite competitive, like I mentioned earlier, um, there's a lot of people who took like a lot of APs um, who probably, if you count like the weighted GPA, they might be a lot higher than like what I was. So you're, you're saying you feel like there were other smarter kids in your class than yourself, yeah. but you got into, you know, um, ranked number one college and you graduated out of that. And then, you know, we'll get to that later. But that, that's something, you know, uh, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, next question. Yeah. What were your GPA like in high school? Yeah, so weighted, I think it came out to, let me pull it up. Um, I had a 4.37 and unweighted just a 4.0. 4.0. 4.0 out of 4.0. Yeah, so out of 4.0. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You said you went to an AP school, right? Can you explain how many APs you took in what year? Plus, how many AP exams did you attend? Sure. Um, so, sophomore year, I took two APs, world history and statistics. Junior year, I took four. I took uh, calculus, AB, uh, English, chemistry, and US history. And then, senior year, I took six. I took uh, US government, economics, Physics one, literature, uh, calculus BC, and biology. Um, so that's a total of 12 APs uh, throughout high school. Uh, and I took 13 AP exams uh, because AP economics is divided into micro and macro economics. So, yeah. Six APs in senior year <laughs> while yeah, you were doing essays and applications. You know. Now, six, how many subjects do you take? in each year six total right and then all of your choices were ap oh seven it's seven 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 it's because like i felt like i was behind because like i mentioned a lot of students start taking ap's as like freshmen in my school really? uh, huh. yeah so that's why i thought i might be a little behind um compared to other students so i kind of had to like um but it's like multiple a lot of students take it's not just like one or two there's like a good amount of people who start taking ap's as freshmen oh my so, god okay yeah <laughs> Did you take the SAT or ACT? What were your scores like? So I only took uh, SAT one, and I got a twenty four hundred out of twenty four hundred. Twenty four hundred. Oh, it was twenty four hundred back then. Yep. You did not miss a single question on the test. I don't know. I yeah. I don't. I don't know. Great. All right. Okay. How many times did you go and take it? Once. Just once. Wow. Okay, good. <laughs> now, I, I, I wonder what our students are going to think if they listen to this conversation right now. Right? Yeah. Four out of 2,400, and it's just one time. <laughs> uh, uh, we move on. Uh, my next. You say, you always say, you don't go to the other. Oh, to the church, you don't go to the church, and then something special and get back. You can make sense. I have a bong of a pausana. Coronga, you don't go to your Hanaji. Impressive, I don't go. question is actually the recommendation letters. Which teacher, which subject teachers did you get the letters from? Okay, so I got my letters from my junior year teachers uh, just because I thought like, uh, they're like the closest age to where I'm gonna be in college while like also having like a full year with me instead mm -hmm. of like a year where they only know me for like half a semester. Um, so I chose one STEM, uh, teacher and one humanities teacher, just cause like, that's what our counselors kind of recommended us to do. Uh -huh. um, so I chose my calculus uh, teacher, my AB calculus teacher, um, because I was pretty good at math. Um, and I also chose my AP US history teacher because I felt like out of all the humanities courses I took, I participated in uh, that class the most, so. Okay, let's talk about extracurricular activities. Out of all the extracurricular activities you put down on your resume or application, can you share with us the best of three activities? Sure. Basically, I only had like two real uh, activities. Like I mentioned, it was a varsity wrestling. So the hospital volunteer thing is officially called a Swedish hospital junior health scholar. Um, Swedish hospital was just like the name of the hospital in like uh, the Seattle area that I was in. And so, yeah, those are my basically only two activities. 자, 참고로 여러분, 이 비디오가 여기 10분 안에 우리가 딱이 유튜브 용어를 만드니까는 그 이렇게 끊어가는 것도 있지만 사실 우리 컨설팅 관리를 하는 학생들이 좀더 봤으면 하는 좀더 퍼스널한 것들을 모르는 게 있어. 그리고 전공에 관한 것들. Uh, what were this is very personal question. What were your parents like? Did you play computer games at all, or what were your hobbies? Were your parents 
pushy about things or they just leave everything up to you. 그리고 프린스턴에서의 삶에 대한 이런 거 조금 더 물어본 것들이 있기는 한데 연락 길어 이 비디오가 뭐 25분이나 이래 그래가지고 이걸 다 올릴 수는 없고 또또 또 something special한 게 있어야 되잖아 우리 또 어, 앤디 오프랩 학생들. <웃음> That's about it, man. Um, this is good. Thanks a lot. For sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. 자, Andy f r a p 컨설팅 프로그램에 들어있는 학생들은 이 선배님과의 어, 1대1 미팅 컨퍼런스는 이 비디오 올라온 2주 후에 오는 거 알지? 매달마다 한 명씩이야. 자, 이번에 1번 선생님, 1번 선배님, 이 프린스턴 선생님으로 갈 거니까 질문한 궁금한 사항들 있으면 나에게 문자 먼저 하시고 자, 있을 때 우리가 모든 걸 뽑아 먹 최대한 질문을 해서 경험을 공유를 받자는 거지. 그때 만나도록 하자 여러분. 바이바이.